How you doing? Uh, I got some words here from the Lord that I've had over the past few months. Uh, probably, I think in March, I got uh, a word from the Lord that He asked me to share with the local congregations, and I feel I'm going to share that in the one He gave me last month. I feel per I permit to what's going on right now because I see them being fulfilled, uh, along with other prophetic dreams and visions that I put to. Uh, up here on uh, YouTube. Um, here's the first one. It was uh, dated 3:23:12. Uh, Thus saith the Lord Jesus Christ, I keep calling out to my people, but they do not listen. I ask them to stop being the handmaiden of Satan, working iniquity in the name of religion, not me. My people place my people's place is prayer, preaching the gospel, feeding the hungry, and tending to the needy. We can serve only one master. Worldly systems are me. The prophets have come and gone after the harbingers are sent because of disobedient children working iniquity and witchcraft. And he's talking within the church. Uh, at this point, the Lord gave me uh, Jeremiah 12, 11 through 17 as affirmation. Um, and just recently here in June, I got this... Uh, Thus saith the Lord Jesus Christ, I'm upset with my sanctuary and church, my house is being overrun with perversion. Are you kidding me? You call upon me, but you don't want to follow me. My ways are everything I tell when I walk the earth. As one of you, as me, the great I am. The time to repent is now. What is taking place is a cinch to my nose. I can no longer bear to watch. The Lord gave me Jeremiah 12 at this point. Draw close to me so you know what to do in the great day of trouble. California is going to be destroyed. Get to know me, my beloved bride. The Lord gave me Jeremiah 7, 2 at this point. That way you do not fall away to crackpot religion. I will never condone one of my children to commit perversion, transgression, and iniquity in the name of justice. Vengeance is mine, saith the Lord. Repent because judgment is at hand, O great whore of Babylon. Uh, Just recently, with all the earthquakes going on uh, and everything taking place, he, he also gave me a prophetic word yesterday at a spoken church. Uh, he's calling out people to repentance. Uh, repentance is weighing heavily on my heart. He's telling everybody to repent from their sinful ways and, and uh, clean, clean everything up and, and to draw close to him. Um, to know, get to know him. Uh, to walk in the the way he has he has called you to and, and covenant with him. Uh, grace is a covenant. Uh, it requires obedience. Um, uh, our God is a God of covenant. I've been ha having that way on my heart heavily here the past four or five weeks, and I've also heard it uh, over uh, Christian channels also. And, and it's true. I mean, we are in covenant with him. Uh, it's a, we, we're free to accept it, and once we do, it's His way, Yahweh. Uh, it's not we accept His and as our Lord and Savior. We just do what we want to do, and it's not that way. We got to be obedient to what's written in our hearts and minds through the Holy Spirit and through the Lord, and uh, also His uh, written commandments, which is to walk in love uh, and everything He talked about while he was here on earth and um if I had another prophetic dream also uh probably like two weeks ago where uh I was like in a jungle area and there was a stone altar and there were uh there was about eight to ten people around the altar uh with their hands raised uh, I guess in some form of ritual and on the altar was blood and defilement uh, mixed together, like blob. And, uh, and and I knew where I was at in, in, in this dream, and uh, and it was Uganda, and uh, and, and that's why uh, that's why like viruses and, and plagues are breaking out because it's judgment for uh, the blood of the innocent.
the Lord really has put in my heart to uh, speak to people and uh, write and post videos. Uh, his biggest, biggest um, thing, his, his, his biggest thing he weighs heavily on my heart to tell people is to come and to repent of their sins and draw close to him and to submit yourself unto him through prayer and worship. Uh, those are our tools of um, uh, weapons in the spirit realm and also they're our, our way of being at peace of mind during everything that's going on. He calling prophets out to start telling people and they've been saying it to draw close to him and to repent and draw close to him to prepare for what's coming. Because what's coming, I, I keep on, I, when I was first called in uh, Passover in 2011, I had a vision that they were, they were so real, it was a dream, it was more of a dream, it was so real, and I posted it, it was, it was the destruction of, of California, and um, I, I never been so shaken like that before, um, I, I, I woke up and I, I felt like it was going on right then, so I, I went to and I got my parents. I told we had to leave, you know. And and uh, since then, um, I've had other dreams too. Um, there are times where I've woken up. I've also posted that video where I woke up in the spirit and um, in the presence of God and fell asleep and had that had that dream where I was uh, in downtown, like downtown LA, and. Um, there was a mass exodus of people leaving, um, and uh, and if you watch the video, you can read and go into detail. Uh, a lot of the, of the the videos I post are, are in writing because that way you can go back and you know just take time to read uh, what the Lord has done in my life, my Lord and Savior Jesus Christ has done in my life, uh, what He's been saying, having me say, giving my testimony, and, and um, what He wants me to tell you. Um, uh, right now I'd like to pray for you guys if you're watching um, I'd like to uh, pray that you get wisdom and guidance and insight to where you are in him uh, because he, he's the only judge really to get to go before uh, to know where you're at as far as your salvation and how you're doing uh, in your walk with him uh, man, man can't tell you because um, man can't save you unless the Lord really puts it in their hearts for you to somebody to come and tell you something. You know, it's like a prophetic warning or something coming. Uh, there's that, but I mean, you can't base your salvation on your pastor. You can't base your salvation on people's opinion of you, uh, like to vote you in. So, you, know, you can base your salvation on what Jesus Christ did for you on the cross. And um, your relationship with him. Um, your relationship is your covenant with him. Uh, it is a, a daily walk. Um, any, everything in the Bible, every testimony, every story, isn't a story of uh, easy living. They're stories of uh, perseverance and people triumphing through their walk with God to overcome. Uh, situations and um, the enemy. So uh, I'll pray now. Father God, I come before you right now in Jesus' mighty name. I pray for uh, these people. Uh, Matthew, I know you're watching. Um, I pray that you give them wisdom, guidance, and direction. And uh, pierce their hearts Lord, with your word. And give them wisdom and guidance and direction into where they need to go, where they need to be, how to cleanse their temples so they can hear you uh, clearly through, uh, through a process, uh, also through fasting, maybe uh, put on a heart to fast so they can hear your voice clearly, your wisdom, guidance, and direction. I pray that you give them peace to go beyond it, every understanding and that they find their way to that through you. Because you're the only true peace, Lord Jesus, as it says in your word.
Thomas, uh, you're watching right now. The Lord wants me to tell you the situation you're going through is almost over. And I keep on hearing, uh, give me a break. And the Lord's gonna, you're gonna shine through to the Lord Jesus Christ. He's heard your cries. And, um, and it's, it's, everything's gonna come into alignment and everything's gonna work out for your benefit. And He wants you to know that He wants me to tell you that He loves you and that everything's gonna work out for you. And, and uh, don't, don't fear man, uh, fear, fear the Lord. Lots of fear of the Lord. And that's not in terror, but that's in reverent awe of His glory and power and His, uh, as Creator. Uh, Lord, I pray that You touch these people's lives. Um, bless them in all that they do. In Jesus, by your name, I pray. Amen.